You wanna hear something creepy? What? My nephew, Nut Carson, right? Yeah. He keeps mentioning about something called the Bata. The heck? Right? No one in the crib knows what this is. <laughs> and when we ask him, he points up. Nah. <laughs> when we ask Carson, we like, where's the Bata? He's up there. Bro, Tony and Kenson, it was in the room. He was playing in his little corner, right? And the nigga was just staring into the corner, like, just po- and just pointing at it. Nah, that's OD. <laughs> Yo. How and, they, did- and Tony and Ken, they're, they're saying, they didn't call, they would have been like, hey, hey, hey. They, just, they were like, Yo, let's, let's watch him. Let's see what he does. He's just like this, pointing in the corner, just looking at it. Really? Swear to God, bro. And I told you, he keeps mentioning that uh, uh, the person's called Bata. And he's black. Nah. I don't know if, like, he's black or, like, he's, like, black. Like, like the like whole a, body. Like, a, like some shit. Like a figure But black? he says that shit now. That shit be having me tripping a little bit. Nah, bro. I be scared because Because I asked him. He was pointing up to my parents. And I'm like, right, that's what boy, you, whatever you got going on, you can have that, my boy. Because <laughs> that's what you said before, right? Bro. Because, you know, I feel like the ghosts and stuff, they, they, they communicate well with children and animals. It's weird people. Like, so, I don't know. Yo, your Boomer leave probably him, seen him, bro. Leave him alone, bro. <laughs> Boomer be talking to the body. Hey, bro, I told you. That shit was weird. The most wickedest one I've ever experienced was the one where fucking... I was hearing some shit in the motherfucking kitchen. That shit walked to the living room. <laughs> I promise you, that shit walked to the living room. Dakota came to my room, stopped in front of my door, and just looked to the left side in the complete darkness... And they kept walking to my room. There's definitely some shit in my crib, bro. Now you got somebody named the Bata in my house, bro. <laughs> like, you will get this motherfucker away from us, bro. I'm over there. He's saying butter or some shit. But or, or Batman. He, no, he's clearly trying to say Bata. Nah, that's weird, bro. Yeah. That's so creepy. Yeah. Nah, that actually creeps me out. I don't yeah. like that. Thank yeah. God I ain't never I'm seen that. I'm like, I'm like, yo, who's the Bata, bro? Where is he, bro? I'm gonna record. I'm, if I remember, I'm How's trying he to record. How's he now? Like what? Three, four, three, three. Oh man! I swing them. I swing them. Them little invisible friends come to. I know imaginary to, friends. That Bata's crazy. Nah, bro. that's actually crazy work. That actually scares me, that bro. Bata, my nephew is tweaking. Bro. I gotta talk to Carson, bro. But yo, I actually have another thing that we could possibly go to when we go for our adventures with idiots. But I don't know if you're up for it because it's actually kind of scary. So have you have you ever heard of the Bennington Triangle? We out, bro. Okay. He said, out, have you ever heard of it? All I hear is triangle, bro. I'm thinking the Bermuda Triangle. We ain't coming out. That's all I know. So you, I'm in for it, bro. If I, have to vor- if I vortex to another universe, bro, it is what it is, bro. So let me let me explain to you before. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Jay, look at us like we crazy. Wait, does she know what it is? No. So let me let me tell you what it is before. So I've realized that, you know how there's a Bermuda Triangle? I think I told you about this before. There's other places around the world where there's different triangles. It's the one in New York, I think that's what you said, right? No, this one's in Vermont. So this is in Vermont. That's far as fuck. Hey, bro. 500 likes. Like, nah. (laughs) So 500 likes, and I'll definitely try to go out there, bro. So in Bennington, Vermont, there's like a forest where it's like a, it's like a supposedly a cursed or haunted forest in Vermont. Like, it's at the bottom part of Vermont. So... In the between 1945 and 1950, there was like eight disappearances in that forest, and it was like the most random stuff ever. So think about it like this, right? I think the one of the first ones that happened, it was a girl, a college girl. She was walk, she she um she decided to take a hike throughout the woods, and she vanished. Like she never came back. They had a whole search party for her. They never found her. Three years later, the craziest one happened. There was a guy on a bus. He was going to Bennington. And on the way to Bennington, he vanished in the bus. And every there was 14 people. Where's the bus? What do you mean, where's the bus? He vanished inside the bus? Yes, inside the bus. Like, he went on the bus. He never left the bus, but the people didn't know where he went. But what about the bus driver? Did the bus driver was still there? The bus driver was still there. Everybody on the bus was there. They, they remember him walking on the bus. They just don't remember him leaving. And he wasn't there. The only thing was left was his luggage and, like, his time card. Was on? Was on the bus, though. It was just like he upped and vanished at the bus. So they was like, nigga, nigga disappeared, bro. And it was like it was he was like a sixty five year old man, and people thought it was like a hoax. And it was it was in the newspaper though. They didn't know what happened to him. 
And then I think another, I think a couple, maybe a couple weeks later, there was a couple out there in the woods. I think he was a hunter and he decided to, you know, he was, it was, it was him and four of his friends. They was hunting, I think like deer or something. And they was going back to like the camp, but he decided to walk ahead of the guys because I guess he wanted to get there in time. When he got there, when his friends got there, he disappeared. He was not there. Bro, there's so many accounts. Bro, you got to always stick with people, bro. It's, and, like, they couldn't find them, bro. But, like, my shit is just, like, how does the perspective look from theirs? Like, from th- That's what I'm like, saying. Are they still, in their eyes, still walking to where they want to go? Or, like, they just... People don't know what happened to them, bro. There was even a, a case where there was an eight-year-old boy, and his, her, his mom was just outside, like, by that forest. And you want us to go. No, I, I was I was kidding. <laughs> and you want us to go, right? I was kidding. There I was told a, you I'm up for it. <laughs> there was a mom, like she um she parked her car and I guess she had to get something outside by that forest and she left her son in the car. So, if, so even if you're just next to the forest, suppose bro, the son was gone, bro. She turned around, he was gone. Like somebody abducted him, but they don't know where he went. Bro, so I it's easy, right? It's easy how we can't we 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 won't be vanished, right? Yeah. Just gotta always keep ribbons on us. <laughs> <laughs> gotta walk around with 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 harnesses, right? Yeah. You feel me? Like like a, like in school. And we gotta have them the red beeper lights and stuff on our brother. Just keep tapping that shit. I don't know, bro. There's ways we can finesse. I don't get know. Get ribbons. This get is big a th- ass lights, bro. We gotta set up little little flares, little little stickers. We gotta do all that shit, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. How many people went missing? Six people. Like six, yeah. Bro. In the span of five years. This was updated in 2023. Yeah. But this wasn't recent, though. It was, like, in the 50s. But, like, people still say they see stuff. Wait, so can we even drive through there? Or, like, you gotta be walking I'm not... I was kidding. This is not... I don't know if we're really gonna do that. I need a million dollars to go through there, cuz. Yo, you know what I think it is, bro? You know what I think it is? Cuz there was another... I forgot... I forgot to tell you the last one that happened. Freaking... A lady went missing, right? And they had a whole search party out for her. And then the freaking, I think six months later, they found her body laying in the middle of a field. They had that on the GPS, bro. What? It's literally called the Bennington Triangle on the, on the GPS. How much is it? How far is it? It's a three-hour drive. Shit, we go, bro. <laughs> Look at this guy. But, yo. Yo, wait. That would be sick. But what do you think it is, though? Think about it. Bro, they, the, they found her body in the middle of a field, but they searched that field already. It's like something dropped her there. You think it's aliens, bro? I was about to say, I thought that could be like a mag- like a magnetic zone for like alien type of in- experiments. Maybe. And the but the one thing that the everything like all these disappearances have in common is that they were all during the fall, like from October to December. They oh, were so all we during have, that so day. We, so we have to go through uh, October, basically. I don't know. Oh, and they were all wearing red. And we have to wear red. All of us. No. <laughs> this man is... No, no, no. All of us wear red and then you're the host. So you can wear blue. Or, <laughs> no, you wear white. You be the savior and then you get to tell the story. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.